It was just before midnight, December 29, 1972. An Eastern L-1011 from New York to Miami crashed in the Everglades. Wreckage and bodies of Flight 401 were scattered over a one-mile radius in foot-deep water. 101 passengers and crew were killed. Time passed, but soon rumors began circulating that the sister ship of the crashed plane was the scene of apparitions of the Flight 401 pilot, Captain Robert Loft, and flight engineer Don Repo, both of whom had died in the crash. Well, I first heard about it, uh, believe it or not, on Scandinavian Airlines from a stewardess, and then I began hearing about it from friends of mine and airlines employees that I knew quite well, and then every airline I flew in, and I fly a lot, everybody knew about it. Fuller became convinced that the rumors were more than imagination. In fact, they were consistent, and his investigation resulted in his latest book, The Ghost of Flight 401. The interesting thing is this. A, the reports of mainly the flight engineer, uh, who has most consistently been reported, and I'm talking about at least two dozen times, at least. Uh, they're benevolent apparitions. They're, they're, they're not, uh, they're, th this isn't a spook scare story. It's, it's, a, it's a fascinating, it turned out to be a fascinating search into the possibility of life after death. What about pressure from Eastern Airlines? Eastern doesn't know what to do about it. I don't blame them in a way. They, 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 they don't know how to, how, how can you handle a, a, a ghost story? Fuller's book has just been purchased by a major motion picture company. Joan Hall, Channel 4 News.